So I've been finding that although a lot of people can comprehend why it might be unethical to spend their money funding the meat industry, um, a lot of people are living in a bit of a fantasy land when it comes to dairy milk. So a human comes along and sticks their whole arm into the cow and artificially inseminates them. That's the pretty word for what we might call rape if it was done to a human. This is typically done about 13 times throughout the cow's life um, because you need to be providing for a calf in order to supply milk. So each cow goes through a pregnancy, a nine month pregnancy, and they are very maternal animals and they have a connection to their child, they love their child, and once the child is born, it is taken away, dragged off. Um, if it's a male cow, they're dragged off to be slaughtered for meat. If it's a female cow, they're going to be raised for milk as well. So they are going to have the same destiny as the mother. The mother cries out and wails out for her child for weeks. She is absolutely distraught. They are selectively bred so that they produce up to 10 times more milk than usual and their udders get so enlarged that they often have to have their legs chained together so that when they walk they don't give way due to the weight of the milk that they're carrying. The mothers are hooked up to milking machines. Uh, they often get mastitis and the pus comes into the milk. A lot of countries do have a limit to how much pus and bacteria can come into their milk, but in Australia there is no limit legally, um, so you're drinking that too. These cows are subjected to this painful milking process for about 10 months until they no longer produce milk. The process is repeated about 13 times throughout their life, and once they are considered no longer useful for milk, they are sent to the slaughterhouse to be murdered in front of their friends, their family. And the last thing we take from these beautiful, innocent, sentient creatures is their life, so that we can slice up a bit of their flesh, serve it on our plate, to be enjoyed for all of about five minutes. So next time you're at the store and you're thinking about buying cow's milk, cheese or yogurt, uh, just think about the life of suffering you would be contributing to if you made that decision rather than looking for a cruelty-free alternative. Broke my heart in the dark I was just trying to feel something Falling asleep to the sound